Losing your hair? You're not alone. Hair loss affects over 80 million people in the US alone. But did you know there are different types of hair loss, and each one needs a different solution? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what type you might have and what to do about it. Chapter 1. Androgenetic Alopecia The most common type is androgenetic alopecia, also known as male or female pattern baldness. Androgenetic alopecia is caused by a combination of genetics, inherited from either parent. Androgenetic alopecia is not solely determined by one parent's genes. It's a complex trait influenced by multiple genes inherited from both the mother and the father. While a stronger link to the mother's side, particularly for men, is sometimes suggested, it's more accurate to say that both parental sides contribute to the likelihood and pattern of hair loss. Hormones, specifically androgens like dihydrotestosterone, DHT, which shrink hair follicles over time causes hair to thin at the crown and temples for men or a widening part in women. Key hormones involved are Number 1. Dihydrotestosterone, DHT Higher levels of testosterone don't necessarily cause hair loss. It's more about how much is converted into DHT and how sensitive your hair follicles are to it. Number 2. Testosterone, the precursor to DHT DHT is a potent derivative of testosterone, converted by the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which binds to androgen receptors in hair follicles, causing miniaturization of the follicles, shorter hair growth cycles, and thinner, weaker hairs. Number 3. Estrogen, in women. While not a direct cause, declining estrogen levels, especially during menopause, can unmask the effects of DHT, making hair loss more apparent in women. Treatments include 1. Minoxidil, Rogaine, for both men and women, is a growth stimulator. Originally developed as a blood pressure medication, but was found to stimulate hair growth. It works by widening blood vessels, vasodilation, increasing blood flow, and nutrient delivery to hair follicles. Rogaine prolongs the anagen, growth phase of the hair cycle. It doesn't block DHT but bypasses its effects by improving follicle health and function. It is available over the counter as a topical solution. Some of the drawbacks are that it must be used continuously. Hair loss resumes if discontinued. It may also cause initial shedding before improvement. Finasteride, Propetsia for men is a hormone blocker that inhibits the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which is responsible for converting testosterone into DHT. By reducing DHT levels, especially in the scalp, it slows hair follicle miniaturization and can even promote regrowth in some cases. It typically reduces scalp DHT by as much as 60% most effective in men with mild to moderate hair loss, and takes three to six months to show visible results. Some side effects include reduced libido, erectile dysfunction, and mood changes in a minority of users. Not recommended for women of childbearing age due to the potential risk to fetal development. Many dermatologists recommend finasteride plus minoxidil for synergistic effects, blocking DHT and stimulating growth at the same time. Low-level laser therapy, LLLT, can help with androgenetic alopecia and is FDA cleared for this purpose. LLLT uses red or near-infrared light to stimulate hair follicles. LLLT therapy is promoted to increase blood flow to hair follicles and enhance cellular metabolism through ATP production in mitochondria, prolong the anagen growth phase of the hair cycle, and reduce inflammation, which may contribute to follicle miniaturization. Several clinical studies show LLLT can improve hair density and thickness in both men and women with androgenetic alopecia. Benefits are typically seen after three to six months of regular use every other day, or three to four times per week. Devices include laser combs, caps and helmets like Eye Restore, Capillus, and Hairmax. They can be used in combination with finasteride or minoxidil for better results. Two of the cons are that LLLT requires consistent use, long-term commitment, and is not effective for advanced hair loss or completely bald areas. Hair transplant surgery. Hair transplants are one of the most effective and permanent solutions for androgenetic alopecia, pattern baldness, especially in men. Hair transplants involve moving hair follicles from a donor area, usually the back or sides of the scalp, where hair is resistant to DHT, to balding or thinning areas. There are two main techniques. UT, follicular unit transplantation. A strip of scalp is removed and dissected into grafts. Fute leaves a linear scar at the donor site, which can result in the transplantation of a large number of grafts in one session. The donor area is closed with stitches or staples leaving a linear scar. Then there is FUE, 
follicular unit extraction, where individual follicular units are extracted using tiny punches. Few E leaves minimal scarring, dot-like marks, is more time-consuming but less invasive. Transplanted hairs are resistant to DHT. It is natural-looking if done by a skilled surgeon, and has a high success rate, 85-95% to 95 for well-selected candidates. The earlier you treat it, the more hair you can save. Chapter 2. Telogen Effluvium Temporary shedding is often caused by stress, illness, pregnancy, or rapid weight loss. It can be alarming, but it's usually reversible by addressing the root cause of either stress, nutrition, or hormones. This is combined with scalp massages to stimulate blood flow and a nutritious diet with iron, zinc, and protein. It takes time, but most people see improvement in three to six months. Chapter 3. Alopecia areata. Ever notice sudden bald patches the size of a coin? That could be alopecia areata, an autoimmune condition where your immune system attacks your hair follicles. Treatment includes corticosteroid injections, topical immunotherapy, and JAK inhibitors, new but promising. By blocking JAK enzymes, these drugs reduce the abnormal immune responses seen in autoimmune diseases and some forms of hair loss. Alopecia areata can come and go, but breakthroughs are happening fast, so there's real hope here. Chapter 4. Traction Alopecia If your hairline is receding and you wear tight braids, ponytails, or extensions, it might be traction alopecia. This is caused by constant tension on the scalp. Treatment options include loosening hairstyles, avoiding heat and harsh chemicals, and the use of growth-stimulating oils like rosemary or castor oil. You might also consider platelet-rich plasma therapy, PRP, if caught early. PRP is a non-surgical treatment that uses a person's own blood to promote healing and stimulate hair growth. Consider changing your styling habits now because prolonged tension can cause permanent damage. Chapter 5. Scaring Alopecia Scarring alopecia happens when inflammation destroys the hair follicle, replacing it with scar tissue, and the hair doesn't grow back. This one is rare, but serious. Treatment options include immediate dermatological care, anti-inflammatory medications, and immunosuppressants. Early diagnosis is critical. Chapter 6. Lifestyle and Nutrition Tips Whatever the type, your overall health plays a big role. Some universal tips are to eat a protein-rich, anti-inflammatory diet, stay hydrated, avoid excessive heat styling, and try biotin, iron, and vitamin D supplements. Sleep well and reduce stress. Healthy habits equal healthy hair. Hair loss isn't the end of your story. With the right knowledge and a little patience, you can take back control. Like and subscribe to Health Equals Wellness if you learned something new, and share this video with someone who's struggling with hair loss. Comment below. What has helped your hair the most?